Dr James Barry was a highly respected military surgeon who trained in Edinburgh. In his career, he travelled all over the world and rose to be one of the most important medical professionals in the military. James was born in Ireland, but his name back then wasn't James. It was Margaret. 1800, 26 years earlier. Margaret Bulkley grew up in Cork in Southern Ireland. Her family didn't have much money. Margaret's father had so many debts that the family lost their home. So Margaret and her mother set sail for London, where they hoped Margaret's rich uncle would help them start a new life. It turned out he wouldn't help them. There weren't many options for Margaret to earn money. At the time, men could go to university and train in a profession like a doctor, but not women. So Margaret and her mother came up with a plan for how she could get an education and become a surgeon. The plan was so daring it would shock Victorian society when it was discovered over half a century later. Margaret and her mother made a lot of preparations. In 1809, they got on a fishing boat in London, bound for Edinburgh. But instead of being Margaret and her mother, they were now a young medical student, James Barry, and his aunt. At Edinburgh University, James kept his distance from other students. They teased him for having a squeaky voice and for wearing large coats, even on the hottest days. Because he looked small and had no facial hair, there were rumours James was actually a child. And he was almost not allowed to sit his exams. But James went on to become one of the best students his professors had ever seen. At the age of 22, James graduated and became a qualified medical doctor, something that Margaret would not have been allowed to do. After graduating, Dr Barry joined the army and worked as a surgeon in Cape Town in South Africa and across the world. But it was only after his death that people realised the truth, that James Barry had originally been Margaret Bulkley.